Schneider, please. Shalom, uh, Mr. Schneider. I want to talk about uh, the Maisei Breshis that we know. It says uh, six times the toll by the Yemoisa uh, Choyel. And we would expect that Shabbos, which is the, okay, the Makta uh, Bepatish of creation, Shashem would say, Tomot. But that's not what happens. Uh, Tomot is said on Yom Shishi, and Shabbos is not told by Shabbos. Shabbos is something else. Shabbos is uh, Kedusha. So uh, this has to be understood. And basically what I want to say is that Tov is like uh, ecology, you know, it's a balance. We know that there is a balance in nature. And it says, but it seems that we also can see it, right? Science tells there is a balance. It's not just uh, forces fighting each other. They balance each other out. They, they come like to certain agreements, what each one should have. Okay, so that's uh, Tov. And then... Um, Kodesh, Shabbos is something that's not in creation because, uh, I mean, it was created, but it's not something that we see in creation. Right? The person, you know, sometimes can get can lose the count of Shabbos. Right? That Gemara talks about in certain places in the world, in the Far East, where it's a machlokes, you know, international dateline. Is it Shabbos or it isn't Shabbos? You can't. Uh, there's nothing uh, in nature to show you one way or the other. So. Uh, What's the Indian? That it is, these are two opposing forces. Uh, I'm not giving Kodesh the whole. Whole is tough. And Kodesh is Kodesh, and they're very different. And, uh, like, for instance, we've been talking about um, Napoleon. That Napoleon was bringing a new ecology, a new world order. And uh, my thesis is that uh, Mendel is very, very good, okay, <laughs> let's grab it with both hands, okay, he's making certain gazettes, but we can deal with it, basically he's giving us uh, the good deal. Uh, it's like Trump wants to give us a, uh, a deal, we'll see, uh, Shem Racham, Shem Racham. In any case, uh, okay, but the Choyze, the Choyze that was against this, I want to say, this is the meaning of Kodesh. Kodesh is not a rational thing. It's something that the person says, I want the ideal, and I'm not willing to... Uh... Uh, Rabbi Schneider? Yes, sir. Excuse me for interrupting. I wanted to say a minute ago, if you mentioned the Torah outlook on international dateline, of course, you know, there's the Balamor, and the Chazanish worked to bring the Balamor, and uh, and Rav Chaim Simran, who on this uh, YouTube channel we put up quite a few blogs, uh, quite a few speaks from Rabbi Kaplan explaining Rav Chaim Simran's shita bena yeter on uh, be yeter on the shitas of this yes she told uh, where you learn out uh, where the where the true Torah international dateline okay, is okay well it's not uh, in other words uh, from a mystical point of view. The very fact that this Mavdil, the Kodesh Lechol, the very fact that there's a Havdola, means that there has to be a suffix, like Ben HaShemash is like, you know, the Olam Shona Nefesh. Ben HaShemash is, is in Shona, in time, right? You don't know exactly, you know, how many minutes after the Shkia uh, it becomes uh, nighttime. And the international dateline is in, uh, in Mokrein. You don't know where, you know, where did they start. And in Nefesh, uh, you have all these... Well, uh, Rabbi, Rabbi Schneider, the Balamor says we do know where it starts. Okay, thank you very much. But the Meister, the Balamor, uh, the Balamor is not, you know, certain you know, what the Rambam is. think the Rambam is God. But the Rambam is not God. The Rambam is just the Rambam. And it's just an opinion and the Seder. But I'm saying from a mystical point of view, in other words, this Tovara. And there is no half dollar between Tov and Ra. This is like a deep thing over here. Why do we say Amal Ben Tov? Why do we say Amal Ben Tov and Ra? No. Um, by Tov and Ra, it's such a half dollar. It's something else. I don't know exactly. It's, it's, these are deep things. But uh, by certain things, it's half dollar. Like the, the Gemara says, there's 13 half dollars. The Sugyen, Abed Sochem, like between Cohen and uh, lazy, but it's not, you don't always, you know, sometimes there's a suffolk on the coin, is he, is he a hollow? And there was the idea that all these sveikos, like the Gemara says, me, me, sveikos, sveikos, kami, shemaya, 
writing about Rachis, and the Vashanta says, the Kabishmai, a person who's standing before Hashem, the Tadik, he has no Sveikis. Okay. He knows where the line, where the, to the, to the, to draw the line, but it's only the Tadik who knows this. It's not something they can give over. You know, can't write a book and explain it to everybody. It said, this is a fact of life, that there is a, uh, there's a question where you draw the line, and I'm trying to explain that this, uh, just like there's a machlokis by the international dateline, the machlokis between the choyze and the remender rimenava, the remender rimenava is saying that now we have to go with chol, with tov. We have to take what the podium has to offer us. We can't go for the ideal of Kodesh, because we'll end up kireach mikan mikan. We won't get this and we won't get that. We won't get the Mashiach and then we'll just get a Holocaust. And the Chodesh say, no, we must go for the ideal, for the Kodesh. The same thing, you have two brothers. You have two, the two South Arabians. I don't know exactly what's going on over there, but I think the uh, Rabbi Aaron is going more with the Tov. He says, okay, we accept the situation. You know, the very fact that Satma is fighting the Medina, it comes from Kodesh. Why should they fight the Medina? Let them sit over there in Mimisburg. Let them sit over there in Mando and, uh, and do their thing. Why do they have to? They, they think they can fight the Medina. No, but it comes, it's an irrational force. I'm trying to explain that Kodesh is the irrational force that is demanding the ideal and, uh, and refuses to just accept a whole, a whole, uh, you know, like Trump wants to offer us a deal. This could be, it'll come down to also this thing if Trump offers us a deal. So maybe we'll have to decide, are we going with the, with the Tov or are we going with the Kodesh? And, uh, and, uh, like Pierre Barak was willing, willing to give up, uh, to make a deal with the, the devil, with our father, and give up the Harabayas, right? Because, okay, so he's, he's not exactly a Kodesh person, Barak. He says, okay, give up the Harabayas, big deal. We'll go with the dog. We'll make a, the main thing is ecology. The main thing is balance. The whole leftist position, you understand? The whole leftist position has to be respected. I'm saying it has to be respected. Who said the is they're saying, wait, we have to have ecology. We have to have statement. You know, we have to have, have to give the Arabs something also. We can't take everything away from them. Where is the toe? Where is the, where is the humanity? Where is the fairness, right? That's what the top demands. The top demands a, a fair, uh, yachaloku. Right? This gets, each one gets something. But the code says, no, sometimes there is no Yechloku. Sometimes Yechloku is Kogayan, but you can slip the Harbais, give them half, give them the Alexa, we'll take the, no, uh, they won't go for it, and we won't go, and not all, at least some Jews won't go for it, because the code says on certain things there is no tov, there is no, um, there is no, uh, rationality. It's, the code is not rational. So, but like this, you see, uh, the Amalai, it seems, is going more with Rav Oyerbach, which is more a Kodesh thing. He's running against Medina. Ad Kedekach, not to send the Bochum to the Gis. I'm saying, oh, here we have a Machloket. What is the Kodesh? Where is the Kodesh line? How far do you have to go to fight for an ideal which is basically hopeless? Well, you're, you're tilting with a windmill. What are you going to the Medina, the Bachman won't go to the to the uh, Gius, they uh, they get arrested. Okay, they'll get some tov, they'll get some money out of it. It's a good deal for them. <laughs> Every day they sit in prison, they get some money. Eight thousand dollars they made. Uh, they gave a boy. Yeah, a couple a couple of <laughs> oh, in other words, okay, let's explain a little bit more. The, the Vinogrin says this: this time, time is tov, or rave no heal. A rave is the lowest level, right? Person eats food. It's not it's not healthy, but it tastes good. That's a rave. A million is something that, uh, it's, it's a good deal. It's a, uh, a talk is, is like, uh, is, is a good deal that's also, that's also idealistic to a certain extent. In other words, we're doing the right thing. We're freeing the slaves, right? General Sherman said that whatever, 300,000 Southerners have to die because they're living on the, you know, on the slave thing, and they're having a good time, and it's not fair. So we have to kill 300,000 people so that we can have the toll, uh, the, which is already, like, it's like the highest level of, 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 of like, common sense business. Okay, 300,000 people have to be killed, and that's it, and then it'll be quiet, and there'll be tov. But that's all in the level of das. Right? Das is tov. But is the mala me ta'am vidas, right? Ta'am vidas. Ta'am is uh, a rave no ill tov and das. But 
Kodesh is Chachma and and Mikroi Kodesh is Bina. And as though this, uh, it has to be recognized, this was the leftists don't, uh, don't have any, don't realize this. And the Mechilak wrote Professor Leibovich, he didn't realize this, he didn't understand what the whole Torah is about. The whole Torah is Kodesh. <laughs> if you just want to, you don't need the Torah. <laughs> we, you, Kodesh is something that's not fair. Avraham Avinu is ready to to shech the son. That's told. No, it's Kodesh. It's something totally irrational, which has to be understood. Of course, it's Kodesh, the Sitracha, which is Daesh, and all these people that are killing people for no reason because of their, what they understand Kodesh is, which is a Kodesh, the Sitracha. But it's the Kodesh, the Kedush, that is the real Kodesh, and, and the question is, and all, it has to be respected. All these opinions, uh, the, Baron and Zaman Neid and Shmuel Oyabach and Rabbi Steiner. So Steiner is basically saying we go with the Tov. We take and make a good deal with the government and the Kodesh. Okay, we're learning Torah. That's Kodesh. We don't have to. The Kodesh is not on the. It's only on the Torah level by the Litaim. It's not in the real world. But people who want Kodesh in the real world is like also like Rabbi Yehuda in the famous uh, speech in. Uh, 1967, he was saying, where's uh, Shem, where's Shem, what was he saying? He was told, there was basically, the Israeli state was, okay, there were problems, but uh, there was the ecology. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden he says, no, we have to upset, we have to upset the ecology. Why? Because there's a demand of Kodesh. The Kodesh demands that uh, <laughs> that we have Shem, we have Shem, and, <laughs> and uh, you have to care, we can't give up on it, because the Kodesh just doesn't agree. Even though, according to the top level, uh, what, we're going to have thousands of people killed just because of Kodesh? Yes, 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 that's what Kodesh demands. Okay. Iskader, Iskadesh, Mirabab, and Harry, Amen, 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 Am